morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Doing a walk and talk on the beach, I will take the camera a little bit closer so there's less influenced by the wind. Standing here in the shadow on a beautiful beach in Phuket, guys, check the view that I am having over here. It's amazing, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful beach. Whole of Phuket is beautiful. Not too many people at the moment. Christmas was like really too busy, but now it's beautiful again. Uh, just talking a little bit about Bitcoin, uh, but mainly about the fundamentals and some news that I'm reading, because there is some stuff that I really want you to understand. And yes, the price, you are around 23, 24K, and in my opinion, we will go to 25 and maybe even 30K, and we can come back again and go up again. But in the end, the halving will be somewhere in March 2024. And from the halving, till the summer of 2025 august september we will be going into that huge bull run again and okay bringing up bringing us the returns on investment um that it doesn't really matter if you buy bitcoin now at 24k or 22k or 20k or 26k because if you just keep dollar cost averaging in the end you will be making a shitload of profit guys now the thing that i want to talk today about is why bitcoin really is important to buy it's not only important to buy because of the return on investment that you can make and to increase your capital but the way more important part is that you have self-control on your capital it is non-custodial on your hardware wallets. Nobody can take it from you. It's unconfiscatable. Nobody can stop you from using. It's censorship resistant. And nobody can stop you from traveling all over the world, having some Bitcoins somewhere floating in the air. By memorizing the seed phrase, you can go everywhere and just you know, load your Bitcoins to a wallet somewhere on the other side of the world and spend them there again. That is the concept of Bitcoin. Peer-to-peer -peer transactions, small and big ones, wherever you want, whenever you want, to whoever you want and that is why you should be buying a bitcoin because the future of money and why do we know for sure that the banks and the governments and all these also believe this is the future of money because if you read the news nowadays you can clearly see i'm going to walk on the beach a little bit guys clearly see that um they are counter attacking they are finding other ways to try not to make Bitcoin too important because they want to have the power and the control on the monetary system. And when they lose it to a completely decentralized one like Bitcoin, that feels like pain. That feels like shit, we are losing. So what are they doing? They create their own versions of money, which they call central banks digital currencies. And how will they convince you to use those central banks digital currencies, like for example in China, by giving it away for free? I just read an article guys, China is giving away millions of digital ones just to boost the adoption of the digital yuan. So yes, that is how they catch the Chinese people. Here, some free yuan during the Chinese New Year. You can uh, spend it on food and coupons and anything else. Here, yeah, just use it for free. That's how they get you addicted again and hooked to their version of Bitcoin. But it's not decentralized, it's completely centralized. They can give it to you for free, but they can also take it away from you for free. And that is what never can happen to Bitcoin. If I give you 0.001 Bitcoin now, it's your 0.001 Bitcoin. I can't take it back, nobody can take it from you, you need to send it to someone else, and then it's transacted again. That's a completely different way of transacting value all over the world. So decentralized digital currencies, I want you not to believe the power of those because the only power they have is to control you by uh, your greed and that is not the wide way in my opinion to uh, create a monetary system so they know you're greedy they know you want and desire money so they will give you a little bit for free so you will be able, so you will start to use it and then they will be able to track you all the way down to whatever you do whatever you spend they can limit it they can take it they can do whatever they want with it as long as you keep using their version of central bank's digital currencies. If it's the Chinese, the European, European or the dollar, all the same shit. All those central bank digital currencies are just an improved version of the shit coins they have at the moment. And yes, I'm referring to euros and dollars as shit coins because these coins really don't have any fundamentals behind it. There is no tokenomics. They just keep printing it out of thin air. Like print more, print more, print more. That's not even a coin. That's creating inflation, making the poor poorer and the rich richer. So, for me, I want to disrupt this system. I don't want you and me and my kids to grow up in a system that is in full control of government and banks. I want them to grow up in a system that is completely centralized, where the ownership of currency is back in the hands of the people. 
we determine which currency we use. And they don't want you to use the currency, and that is what you read in the news. So the only thing these governments need to do is what they always do, create fear. The moment you will be afraid to use those currencies that we as a community have been creating, Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. Again, Bitcoin is for me the only, for me the only decentralized one. The completely decentralized currency is Bitcoin. So that's why I have a Bitcoin dude. But I will, but I will always buy other cryptocurrencies as well to support the decentralizing of certain industries in this world. There are many beautiful tokens that try to decentralize certain aspects of the life that I need to be decentralized. And that's not happening by Bitcoin at the moment, but that's happening by other tokens. And, and that is why I invest in those tokens as well. But Bitcoin is always my main capital. That is my main currency. We live the Bitcoin standard as a family. That means that yes, we might exchange Bitcoins to Thai baht when we're in Thailand, or to Chinese yuan, or to a European euro, or to the US dollar for those moments that we need to spend in those countries. But we will over all these exchanges back to Bitcoin, as that is our standard currency, guys. And the banks and the governments don't want that to be your standard currency. They want their currency to be your standard currency. So they want you use the central bank's digital currency as a standard currency. So how are they making sure that you will use their currency? By creating fear. By creating fear for Bitcoin, by creating fear for all the other decentralized currencies out there. And they want you just to use only their version. And how do they create fear? By publishing a lot of shitty news about Bitcoin, about adoption, about all those exchanges collapsing and all that stuff. They just want to create fear so you won't buy it. And if you fall for that trap again, then you're, in my opinion, very stupid because you're falling again for all the fucking lies that the governments are telling you, just like they did with the whole flu situation. Finally, now, after two and a half years, we can see that they were all lies and they were only lying, lying, lying. I'm very happy to be in Thailand now because Thailand is the first country that's going to fight against Pfizer because they now discovered that Pfizer was a huge scam and their princess is now in coma because of that huge scam. And Thailand is going to fight against that. So let's see how, how that will develop. So the news that they create creates fear in your mind. For example, I have a few over here. Crypto firm could face two years jail for breaching UK advertising laws. Uh, crypto project hacked it for four million in a hotel lobby. Uh, Sam Bankman fight lawyers tried to reach an agreement on use of national. All negative, 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 negative. There is no positive news about crypto. While it's the biggest peaceful revolution that has ever been there there's no positive news why they don't want you to buy but they are buying it. all that negative news will make you decide ah maybe it isn't the perfect moment to buy bitcoin maybe it will collapse to zero because there's so much negative news fuck that negative negative news you know being all in bitcoin for me is a fuck you to centralized entities like governments and banks because that will take their power away from me i am in full control they don't have any power on me. I just do what I want, like I want, where I want, how I want, and they can't stop me. And they can't take me, and they can't take any materialistic stuff because I don't own materialistic stuff, because the powerful combination for me still is living minimalistic and owning only a shitload of Bitcoins that I can spend on everything I want, because the capital is growing all the time, because there is only 21 million Bitcoin, it's deflationary, there will be an uptake in the price every four year cycle, so for me the capital is growing automatically. And if I would be in US dollars or euros, my capital will be devaluating every year automatically. By inflation, they make you poorer. You can buy less and less and less and less and less and less and less for every euro you keep in your bank account every year. And you can buy more and more and more and more and more and more for every Bitcoin that you keep in your own wallet every year. Now, that is why you should be focused on accumulating Bitcoin as well. So that is very important for you to understand that the reason to buy Bitcoin is not only the capital growth, but also the, pr the protection of your capital. Because as long you keep everything in Bitcoin, it's unconfiscatable and you can travel all over the world and you can pay as much as you want to who you want, wherever you want. Now, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this short beach walking tour. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And yes, I'm fucking sweating because it's like almost 40 degrees here in Thailand and it's even getting hotter the next month. They've been telling me. And um, for the rest of family life, the uh, camera crew from the documentary is arriving tonight and we are going to film for a full week in Thailand uh, to show where it all started, uh, how it all evolved and where it now all ended again for us as a family. And then probably this documentary will go live in the end of this year 
or somewhere in 2024 around the halving, which of course would be an amazing timing because everyone is bullish then and willing to watch a beautiful documentary that's not only about the price, but also about a beautiful Bitcoin family life. Which brings me to the next very short subject, guys. I realized that I've been making a shitload of trading videos lately and all these videos are nice. I love to talk about trading and all um, the return on investment aspect of Bitcoin. But I realize I'm doing this together with millions of other influencers that probably are way better than me at this. So like, we have all of these influencers that do TA analysts, that do all the shitcoin analysts, that all do the pumping and the dumping of the shitcoins and all that stuff. They have very beautiful YouTube shows with millions of followers that talk daily in a very structured way about the price. So uh, this morning I woke up and I was thinking like, so maybe that is not the thing that I should be doing. Maybe I should do something completely different. Maybe the strong part for me is that I have a family. I have a wife and three kids which they all don't have. They are all single, very young YouTubers that are mainly in for the Lamborghini style and uh, becoming filthy rich to buy yachts and airplanes and all that stuff. I have a family. So maybe the focus of this channel is gonna shift again a little bit more to family life because I want you guys to understand that we as a family live on crypto solely already for six years now. And I think we should focus more on the adoption of crypto and why we do certain things as a family and maybe mindset stuff than only the price so you will see less and less price related videos maybe two three times a week still uh, but the rest will be more focused on other stuff that is way more important in life in my opinion and why can i make the difference between me and all those other people because they travel alone maybe with a girlfriend uh, mostly alone <laughs> making YouTube videos all over the world. I do the same already for seven years with a family. So our strength is that family part and I should bring more focus to the family part. At least that is what I thought this morning. Maybe tomorrow I wake up and I think something different again, but let me know what you think about this. Do you think we should so focus more on the family part or do you think I should stay and focus on the price part of Bitcoin? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.